what's up guys andy is back with another video since pre-season is coming real soon and the end the season is gonna end soon there's only around a month left so i've started to come up with the best cards for each position in each budget this will be a really big series i'm gonna actually cover goalkeeper today goalkeeper left back and center back today and next uh, Next, I will do the other three positions and stuff like that. These are the three positions we have. Let's start. Uh, let's start from the back of the net. I think I found you guys a perfect keeper. If you don't have that many coins, mm, top prospects. This guy is a madness. Uh, he is really good just he's super cheap he's below one mil i think i think he's below one mil as well yeah he's probably gonna be below one mil easily let me just find him for you guys let's see yep easy ma easy coins if you if you want to buy a good goalkeeper so next next one let's i don't really know for many good goalkeeper so next budget is a medium budget which is 5 million which is a decent budget let's put 90 to 105 let's see the goalkeepers we get so this is basically gonna be a test to see what goalkeepers are truly that good musali definitely not a card you want for 4 million, not worth 4 million at all. Maguire is not worth it either. And Danovic, I think it's obvious, he's obviously not worth it. Kota looks like a decent start, but he's too expensive for a 92. Noya, we're not even gonna look at Noya since we know what these keepers are capable of. Um. The hair even worse boost. Johnny send bad boost with reflexes. No one uses that anymore. Jan Oblak. Oh my god. No god no please no. Ooh, Kotwan. He used to be a top goalkeeper. He was actually the uh, first best one with uh, two other cards at the number one position. When I came to goalkeepers, these are a little bit too low rated. Let's pump up the rating to 80, um, 95. Let's see who we have. Three cards in. Okay, looks Handanovic. First card. Henderson is second card. Not, not the ideal boost. Somer, oh, he used to be good, but not, not good anymore. Definitely not worth sigils. Oh, this guy, guy might give him a challenge. But still, he's not that good. He's not that good. No, so not worth it. Looks like none of these goalkeepers are worth it. So the main goalkeeper we have still at the 5 mil mark. Is basically, whoa, okay, okay. For a 97 good looking stats, but I'm afraid for most people he won't, he'll be too expensive. So, La Larson Neuer, oh, I forgot Dragon Winsky. Dragon Winsky could be one of your options. Um, And the guy with the epic beard. You, can't, you have to get him if you have a range of 5 mil. So, now let's pump up the gas to 10 million. 10 mil 10 mil first option is Somer who's very good for 10 mil he's very good card option number 2 Marco Terstegen I'm afraid he's a little bit too expensive and plus Darren Lansker is basically a better deal Sejal is also a top goalkeeper 
but he might be too expensive so he has so i'm trying to give you guys the best cards mm -hmm. and i think i found the jackpot i think i found him i am surprised he's actually in this range because last time i checked he wasn't in this range so somer is definitely a top card to get if you can afford him he's 100% top pope nick pope is very good when upgraded to max he's really good so now let's see if they have alison alison does it come in this range no i don't think so so now let's go to 20 million this is the last last budget so i should we should be seeing alisons in here this is the last budget i'm going to check since except for this most cards are way too expensive two cards who are goddamn insane first one is manuel noya if you can afford him and the other one is a little bit cheaper but still almost the same stats alison alison becker no you are better than alison becker but one thing which is surprising is all of these goalkeepers are end game except for uh, ariola and yeah ariola is the only one who's not end game card so that is our first position has been done now let's go to center back this is fun this is fun to I love good center backs. Okay, wait, one turn. Let's put the achievement of one million coins. Who's the best center back we got? For you, my friend, the best center back is. Wait, wait, let me see. Eric Garcia. Nope, not Eric Garcia. Nope, I would never play with that card. No matter how hard anyone will try to make me play with that card, I think it's Ra Rafael Bonito. One, he's very cheap. Number two, he's good. So it might just be him. Yeah, it doesn't look like any better card than that. Dicky is definitely not good. Okay, so that is the sorted five million. Let's check five mil for um center back, right? Yeah, okay. Here is when the options start to rain on you. Oh, we have some good amount of options. Let's go through all of them step by step. Savic, um, one bad boost, and you want better boost than that. Plus, he's not even as good as Laporte. He um I think you know why you shouldn't use that. Use this card. Romario is good. Romelo is good, but I don't think you would want to use this card though since he is kind of bad for his price. Wait, where is Laporte? He should be here, right? Harry Maguire is good card. But the real man himself, Sergio Ramos, is one of the best cards for a really cheap price. He's one of the top ones. I think he might just win this round easy. Come on, guys! Don't let Sergio Ramos win the round. Definitely not delete unless you're trying to make a squad builder for certain type of card. No, not him. Looks like Ramos is the best. Okay. Let's check this card. Still, Ramos is better. So looks like the Ramos is better in this range. So let's go to ten million. Ten million. Who's the best card we can get for ten million? I think you guys know who I'm talking about. The main man, the the net stopper himself. If this thing can actually load. Wow, we have lot more options than I thought. First option is this insanely good and cheap card. Number two, this card is good, but it's not as good as Socrates. 
the meal is good but not that good anymore you guys m- might be wondering uh, why am i not basing it on stats i've played against these cards and i still feel that my number one is better than these cards i still feel that way Ooh, Tomaro is a top option he's a top notch option if you have enough coins to upgrade him high enough definitely never choose henge he's not even good enough to be in my second team which is like the worst team i have so that should be it yeah there's no other cards so